How you doing everyone? This is Tuba Solo coming to you with another gear video. Um, I wanted to show you guys uh, my latest incarnation of um, what I'm doing right now for video on the trail. One of the things I found very annoying was that um, having to carry a selfie stick for certain kinds of shots and having to carry two trekking poles was uh, very annoying. So through the help of one of my buddies, um, you see him in the Mount Wilson video, Squelch, he actually came up with this uh, idea to use with the Lakey Photo Adapter. So uh, the traditional Lakey Photo Adapter, let me grab that thing, is this thing right here. This goes right on the top of a uh, Lakey um, trekking pole. And uh, what, you're, what you can do with this thing is um, you can actually, if I can get this thing open, there we go. So if you open this up you can see that there is a uh, threaded uh, area where you can put the photo adapter in and then ultimately into a quarter inch 20 um, screw that goes into the you know most camera uh, attachments but uh, my buddy Squelch what he thought this was kind of like a cheesy little setup it didn't uh, really hold I mean I never really had any problems with it but I mean it's really just exactly that it's one dimensional it can only do one thing which is give you a, a handle to hold uh, as you're taking a picture. Um, but in an attempt to try to improve this right here, he came up with a design where he ran a quarter inch 20 um, screw through this and had it come out. So see, run the screw and then he had it come out through the top and then you attached whatever camera attachment you wanted on there. Well, I took Squelch's design and I uh, took it one step further and I went ahead and I added a GoPro mount onto it and what that allows me to do is not only can I keep you know if you can just imagine that there's my trekking pole here but essentially not only can I keep the keep the camera straight for taking shots uh, and it gives you a nice pistol grip to uh, take shots uh, pictures video uh, stuff like that but what it also does is that it gives you that 90 degree angle so you can tip your trekking pole and um, tip your trekking pole and go into instant selfie stick mode uh, for some of those uh, you know selfie stick shots. Uh, that takes away the need for having uh, two, uh, ra not two, but uh, rather t uh, a different device. You know, having uh, essentially three sticks. Uh, if you're somebody that likes to uh, trek with two trekking poles, and then you have to carry a selfie stick for doing any sort of video and stuff like uh, uh, that, you want to do it does get kind of annoying. So this allows you to be able to use one of your trekking poles as your selfie stick, and then also doubles as um, a pistol grip for the video portion. Uh, for those of you that are interested, uh, this gigantic clamp that I have on here, I did uh, want to say that I have used these style um, clamps for my cell phone. They work okay. Um, I did have one fall during one of my hikes. Luckily, um, uh, the screen didn't break, but yeah, this this thing, it works, but it didn't necessarily keep everything together. Uh, as much as I, I would have liked to, but I was very fortunate that, um, that my screen did not crack. But ever since that occurred, I went ahead and switched to the ReadyCam clamp. Um, there's two types of ReadyCam uh, cam clamps. Um, this is the one for smaller phones. This is the one that I started with originally. Uh, this was before they made the, the one that can carry uh, much bigger phones. I use a Note 3. Um, in the original ReadyCam, you can fit a Note 3 in there, but I mean, it was really pushing the limits of this thing. Uh, but when this thing came out, I went ahead and purchased this. And uh, this has worked out really well. This works out great. But it, what it does is it also you know, gives you that peace of mind that holds your phone uh, attached to your trekking pole. And um, yeah, it's just it really creates a very simple method uh, for not having to carry yet another item on you. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this is not exactly the the lightest setup, but I mean if you really want convenience this is definitely it. One other thing that I wanted to add um, to this, uh, I wanted to say that um, I did try a a ball mount here at one point. The problem with the ball mount, I ended up returning it, um, it was a really steady good mount um, I like the fact that you could do all sorts of angles, but the one thing that I found very annoying 
is every time I unscrewed the ball mount, the weight of the phone and the clamp together always seemed to just, like it immediately like fell. It immediately like tipped over to one side. So ultimately the preferred method, at least for me, is to have the GoPro mount, which gives you the 90 degree angle, uh, which I have found to be the simplest of all the options. Uh, that I've tried. But yeah, that's basically it. It's just a, a quarter inch 20 bolt through a Lakey photo adapter um, top. I have a, a washer in there and then this is just a, a Chinese knockoff GoPro um, mount with a quarter inch 20 at the bottom and then whatever kind of you know uh, adapter that you need to take it to the quarter inch over there and gives you that right angle. So that's pretty much it. That is my camera setup for when I go out hiking. Uh, I may possibly add a uh, a mini tripod to that, one of these little flexible tripods, but um, so far right now I haven't really found the need for something like this necessarily. I know that you can take some really cool shots as you're walking down the trail, uh, but I don't know if I'm really wanting to take the phone off and on and then switching things around. But then again, if I'm using a GoPro mount on each, Really all I have to do is, you know, unscrew this, and then wiggle that out of there, and then it'll allow me to, you know, attach it to this GoPro portion. So that may be an option in the future, but um, yeah, as of now, that's my camera setup, and um, hope you enjoy this video. Talk to you all later.